What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Demon Slayer. Today we're doing episode three and four of season three. Very excited to continue where we left off with some training, the revelation of the sword 300 years ago. I don't know his name yet. I'm so excited. I never heard great things about this season. I know next week or two weeks ago from now, whatever's episode is going to be the last, or at least I'm hearing. I'm also hearing it's going to be super long, so I got to catch up. I got to get through it. I'm super excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. If you guys already have not, make sure you guys subscribe. Click that notifications bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Other than that, check out the Patreon for the full uncut versions as well as early access to the other shows. Check out the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop right on into it. Demon Slayer, Season 3, Episodes 3 and 4. First one is called A Sword from over 300 years ago. Let's do it. All right, right where we left off. Yeah. I mean, his family made the doll. Is it really? We have an even better quality sword? It's the best quality. Oh, it's rusted over. I guess that makes sense. It's been 300 years. Oh. Damn it. All it needs is a little touching up, right? He's heartbroken on the inside. Most I've ever seen him cry. Now, who might this swordsmithing ogre be? That... Okay, I don't remember him being that... The mask, that's definitely his mask, but I don't remember him being that yoked. Yo, we finders keepers, bud. We found it first. And it was in Kotetsu's doll. He finally was able to outbrute them. What grown-up does that? I know, explain yourself. Oh, I didn't know. Oh. I am very ticklish as well. I know his pain. Is that why he's so jacked? <laughs> Look at Kotetsu. Oh. Okay, I take back everything I said. I appreciate you. His first name is Hotaru, right? Well, knowing there's other swordsmiths that we can go to, it would be understandable. He's got zero social skills. You fucking pushed his button right there. They could polish it? Oh, I can't wait to see that. I would love to see that. You could have 100% said that from the start. I agree with Kotetsu. <laughs> it's, I, tickle him. Tickle him. Tickle him. That is hilarious. Shout out. Otaru. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming the one he's taking to polish right now will be our final, hopefully final sword. But this is our temporary sword we can use now, and I'm very happy. Damn, how hard is it to polish? Not to look in no matter what, okay. I didn't know he was talking to him. I didn't know. Yeah, you guys didn't bond in your nakedness in the hot springs? Wait, he did. He pulled out his tooth. Explain yourself. No, now you got me curious. I completely forgot. Oh, he still has it. That was weird. Yeah, that was weird. I can't believe this guy. I have a feeling something bad is going to happen. Oh, no. It's Gyoko. We know he chills in vases. Wait, he found the sword. Is this the unconfirmed information he had for Muzan? This guy's going to die. Oh, oh. That was brutal. That was brutal. And then it just spits out like a puddle of the remains. So he tried to eat him, decided he tastes disgusting, and spit him out. 
This will 100% undermine the Demon Slayer core if you can do this. And we got Gyoko and Hantangu. Oh no. They actually found it. Oh. Tell me why I thought this was not going to happen until like episode 5, 6, 7, you know. Kind of similar to the entertainment district. Like we had a little bit of time to build up, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but. Damn. Okay. I'm very curious about Muichiro's disposition. Like, why he's so curious about Tanjiro's feeling. Why he's so stoic, you know? Okay. That guy is such a good dude, bro. What is Muichiro on? Is he high? <laughs> What? I'm not gonna argue that one. She most definitely is an odd creature. Are we starting this already? Number four. That's upper four. That's Han Tengu in our room with Murichiro and Tanjiro. Mist breathing. Shifting flow slash. That was so elegant and he didn't even hit him. Immediately into the Hinokami Kagura. Sunflower thrust. Nezuko's getting a little bigger. He's getting into it too. Yeah, why isn't he fighting back? Maybe the more damage he absorbs, the stronger he becomes or something like that, you know? What? Oh, what? Oh my god, talk about the growth of a body insanely fast. Literally, as he hit the ground. And now there's two of him. Yeah, one grew a head, the other one grew a body. What is that? What in the flying fuck? Talk about a fan, I need that on a hot ass day. Sekido. What happened to Hantengu? Karaku. Yeah, is this another Gutaro situation? What does his power weapon do? Genya? With the fucking Blicky? With the double barrel sawed off shotgun? Yeah. Does it have like Nichirin bullets? I like he has like a shotgun sword combo, but the sword isn't as long as a normal sword. So it makes more sense for one hand in combat. Is, there's, it gets younger and stronger. It's making us behead them. I didn't know it just kept going. I thought it was only the two. He's trying to do as much observations as he can, bro. This is nice. You need some fucking genius level de deduction to be able to figure this out. What? I know this isn't the end of Genya. It has something to do with his regeneration, like his tooth. It has to. Nezuko instinctively wants to save Tanjiro, but... Whoa. Bro, shit is hitting the fan. Not only can he fly, has talons and claws, but has like a sonic breath? And because of how hidden the swordsmith village is, there's not going to be much defense or protection, right? The swordsmiths themselves can't fight. Are we saying his foot alone is branching off into another one? Please help us, Muichiro. Kotetsu's fighting. What the fuck is that? A magic harp? 
He's being a very logical and rational person about this. Oh, and he was wondering about why he said that, too. Yep. He was like, wait, what did you say? Help him out, Muichiro, please. Thank the Lord. Yeah, he's like, whoa. I wouldn't have expected you to be here. His voice? Even though I'm not the biggest fan of his character so far, I'm sure he's going to grow on me. I kind of like his voice. It's very soothing, you know? Never a lot of emotion in it. I'm kind of... I'm feeling this. All right, on to the next episode. Episode 4. This one is called Thank You, Tokito. Which I'm about to thank him for saving Kotetsu, so I'm very suit. Very well handled. Nice clean cut. But like he said, it's probably not the main body. It's probably just like something from a spell, right? Gyoko, I'm assuming. It's so weird how it has like human hands and feet. And it is just regrowing its weird head. The vase. Yup. So that's definitely Gyoko's thing then. Because we know he loves his vase and something along those. So the vase is the head. Exactly. Thank you, Tokito. I'm assuming he's going to say it right here. And just like Tanjiro said, something Kotetsu does later is going to, or something that's going to come back. <laughs> Help Muichiro. No, oh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Yes, that's your swordsmith, right? Yes, I do think that is... Uh, there's so much going on right now. I, I need to know what Mitsuri is doing. I want Wichiro to be able to help, but this is so rough. Find yourself. Did he lose himself? I'm very curious. I need to know what happened. Lost memories. So it's like he's in a mist. He's like in a fog in his head. That's why these are sparing memories. That's why when Tanjiro said something, he's like, what'd you say? It probably clicked in something in his brain. And it will clear away like the mist. The mist in your head. He is the mist, Hashira. Ah, that is fire. No, that's mist. You know what I'm trying to say. No pun. Sorry for being a pun. And he's fucking sprinting with Kotetsu. I, I fuck with it. Okay. I respect your resolve. That's some willpower alumni shit right there. Willpower gang. Shout out Rob City. Good. Well handled. And that's, and that's another one just growing off the talent or the, the foot, right? Yes. How am I not thinking of this? What do we do? I mean, you have to keep slashing them until you think of something. Well, by the time you think of something, there's going to be 92 of them. So you have to... Indefinitely, yep. Okay. So joy stays joy, but it's now a diminished joy. I see. So the four is their strongest suit when it's those four emotions and they're tandem with their power. So, but then how do we deal with them, though? The main four. Do we have to cut off all four heads at once? What do we do? Ooh, I don't want to pause it because we're right into the things, but I want to say, and you guys know I say this all the time, I love a character that is very uh, ob observationalized, that's not even a word, very deductive when it comes to certain situations like this. That's why Hunter x Hunter is my favorite anime, because... It's not who's stronger, it's who is smarter, clever, who has wit, who can use their power and knows their body the best. Like, like, and that's one thing about this sort of style of fight, especially going against blood or demons with blood demon art. You have to figure out their power, the weakness, what strengths, all of this while not trying to die and then beat them. It adds such a level of respect on these fights versus just like, and I'm not, I love Dragon I'm not a hate on Dragon Ball Z or none, but just like, yeah, the next level of strength, you know? That's, which that does sometimes happen in Demon Slayer, but I just love the deductions. I love the amount of brain it takes. 
Because I would have never even thought of the four emotions, how much they split up, this, that, the, you know, diminishing, all that. And to be able to do this while fighting or in the midst of it, I'm over here watching a goddamn TV show, you know? Now, hold the phone. How did that just happen? Yeah, the fact that we're all separated right now is so bad. I don't even know how they're doing. Thank the Lord they're cutting to them. I know Genya's not done. He can't be. There's no way. Because it's already he's already regenerated where you stabbed him. Am I assuming? But he has to still experience that pain, even though he's regenerating. He still has to go through that on some Wolverine type shit. That lightning power is so strong and I love the way it's animated. Don't hate on Nezuko now. I've seen her get cut in half and regenerate very fast. Oh, there goes your fucking chin, your jaw. I mean, we know she's got that egoist in her. She's the true blue lock. Exploding blood. With the death twist? Bye bye fan, uses, can you use this fan, Nezuko? Is that a thing? She has his arm still attached to the fan. Oh, that is fucking brutal. Shinazugawa. Of the guy who's gonna cut your head off. I do like his combo. The shotgun blade. I love Bakugo's voice actor too. Okay. Ooh, good dodge. That was a beautiful stab. I'm not talking about Tanjiro's back either. Up the knee into your mouth. And just like that, they're back in the village. Oh my God, and he sees his sister getting molly whopped like this. The dodge, the talon. Damn, good deduction. That's one of my favorite things about him. Oh, that's good to know. And he uses that as a like an oven mitt. Oh, I thought that was going to go right through the back of his neck. Thank the Lord, Nezuko is a gangster. That exploding blood on him. He's back.
Oh my god. The way they animated that, it's like a black hole level of gravity just hitting them, forcing them down. Unbelievable pressure. It's like you're hundreds of feet down in the, in the ocean. Look at that. And this is all upper four, which is Hantangu. He's higher, or he's higher than Gyoko, but we still haven't even fought Gyoko. We're finally ringing the bell. This is what Gyoko can do. He can make like an army of those things. Yeah. Yeah. Can we get all the Hashira here, please? Oh, Mitsuri. All right, let's go, Mitsuri. That's the end of the episode. Oh, thank the Lord. I can just keep watching more. <laughs> well, those were some great episodes. Like I was saying, I was expecting like when the swordsmith came down from the hot springs and he died. I was like, oh, that's so sad. But I thought I was going to set it up. We're going to find the rem remnants of his body. No, so, you know, and then we're going to take like, two more episodes was my guess. They'd really build into it. But no, on Tangu from the jump, where we're having a conversation about like morality and then his whole blood demon art splitting into multiple emotions and then their powers when it comes to joy flying i don't know which emotions have which but the lightning the fan and then just i like his design the best the one who's fighting genya the spear with the blue very interesting i like genya as well his regenerative powers i can't wait for mitsuri to hop in here can't wait to see more muichiro he, we only saw his fourth form which was like what like shiftless slash or shapeless level something man I love the concept of him being the mist Hashira because of his lack of memories and the mist in his head. I'm very curious about his backstory and what we're going to gain from that, like what his story is, what questions he has. I need to know all that, but I'm very excited. This is great. I love the fighting. Shouts out Muichiro for saving Kotetsu. Shout out to Mitsuri coming her way. Shout out everyone. And not wait for more. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Check out that Patreon for early access, full length, uncuts, all that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.